Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. Everything okay? I've clo Imagine saving people. Taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you will eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sorry. Bertram. Easy, big guy. <gasps> Ouchie! What he needs is a good sleep. Uh, Knock him out! Mean! Bertram! <clears throat> Bertram got a whoopsie! <clears throat> that dog! <clears throat> Sit down and be good! Not nice! I thought I was gonna deal with this. So <clears throat> strong, so stupid. <clears throat> Wasting my time. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram.